Hello guys, so welcome to another video in Rhino and Grasshopper. So in this video, we are going to see uh, a diagram, a dystopian diagram, which is done by an usual students. So actually, I used to inspire their works. I used to follow their works. So now I just give experimental try, like uh, how to do their uh, do this image by seeing their drawings. Oh, it comes similar like it looks similar and in this video I'm going to teach you like how to do this so let's go into the video so this is the Photoshop work so we need to create it first the we need to create the model the Rhino so it's like the concept is so simple okay uh, I'm just uh, creating four to five elements for now I just created a five element just walls, stars, or something within uh, five to ten minutes. So, because just for an um, maybe an a try, okay. I just create a five elements, but if you want, you can create more than five like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, it's up to you. You can create a building with the uh, interiors, and you can create some kind of uh, park elements. Like, it can be a concept, around like a uh, if you design a, some kind of building and in that uh, you have some major four to five elements in the building then you can use that element and create this uh, diagram so it's up to you i'll just show you the steps how to do it okay so first uh like before going into the uh, in the script you need to download two plugins so i just give the link in the description you can download the plugins for the grasshopper from the description okay it's nothing like uh you will get it in food for right okay so first command so like i'm just uh, i think before i think i'm i also want to say this like you need to block this uh elements okay so just uh okay i'm just exploring this uh to show you how to make element as a block so it's nothing i'm just selecting it and now i'm just clicking giving uh block so it's asking for block base point. I'm giving this point as a base point. It's asking for the name. So the name is done. So, uh, but I'm just uh, undoing the explode and block because which I already did. So, so we can see block one, block two, like all the file elements have been in block. So I'm going to use a uh, double slash, which automatically goes into panel now i'm just giving block as a text okay so this is a keyword just imagine as a keyword so if uh, so i'm going to use reference by type okay type so it's like i want to select all the key block in the rhino grasshopper i mean uh, i want to select all the blocks in the rhino file okay so the my keyword is rhino i mean my, sorry my keyword is block so i'm just uh, connecting the block keyword to reference type okay so it's a word is what it is doing is it's just selecting all the blocks in the rhino file so which is cool right so you can use it like blocks beer up uh, curves you can do whatever you want so this command is little little useful when you want to input some multiple data okay so now uh, i need uh, this part to be repeated somewhere okay so so i'm just creating a box okay for now so i want this file element to be repeated in this so i want to input this box into grasshopper okay so it's obvious i'm going to use a brief okay i'm just selecting this and one brief okay this is so it's been selected and i don't want this block in the rhino i'm just hiding this too, okay so so the brief has been done okay so now i want this to be repeated okay i'm just giving repeat sorry repeat okay so i need the data to be repeated again and again so it's like just give this to here so now okay this file element should be repeated in this block that way like uh, you know that but there's no uh like you can see there's where to repeat i mean where should be should it place in this box so for that i'm just giving populate 3d okay it creates a number of points inside the box okay so that uh, you can so these points will be referenced to place these five elements in random way in a repeated way. So we need to give some kind of numbers for them for the uh, points. So I'm just giving 50. It's up to you guys. You can give whatever you want. 
So now I'm I'm just giving the same for the repeat so that we don't have a lot of confusion. That's why. So now I'm just giving a repeat again. Okay, I'm just using repeat data again, but I won't. This time I'm going to use deconstruct. Okay, deconstruct block. So I need to. I am going to deconstruct the block. Now I'm going to use flatten over here in the plane. So now I'm just giving to this. So as I said before, I'm not going to complicate. So I'm just giving this also 50. So now I'm going to use orient. Okay, orient. So orient. So so it's asking for the geometry. The first one is geometry. So I'm just giving the geometry. The second one is the source. The source has been given, and the third one is the target. So you can see it. Hmm. So this is fine. So now I want this to be in different angles, different axis. So I'm going to give rotate. Okay. So rotate is fine. And so the geometry is the same. Okay. So I'm just giving the geometry. Now it's asking for angle. Angle should be in degrees. Okay. I'm just changing this to degree and the plane. So plane, I'm just giving x, y plane. Okay. So I'm just giving the plane. Now I'm just connecting the plane to populate 3D. So, so now I need to create the uh, angle. Okay. So the angle is like, yeah, uh, we know the angle, but we, we need the angle to be uh, kind of randomized. Okay. We want the drawing to be a little bit uh, randomized variety. So, <clears throat> so before in before videos, I used to say when you want a different value that is different random value, you can use random as well as you can create a domain to give uh, the start and end value. Okay, the same I'm going to do. I'm going to use random. Okay, for the angle. So for the angle random. Okay, now I'm going to use list length. Uh, where is list length? Okay, length. So I'm going to use list length. So I'm just connecting this to this and this to this. Now I'm just using construct domain. So I want the start and end value. So I'm just splitting uh, domain. You can see construct domain. So I'm just giving it. Now I'm just giving zero and three sixty. So the start is 0 and the end is 360. So now I'm using round to the factor. So I'm just rounding to the factor and maybe. So I, I used to get a value from 0 to 360 if you if I connect the panel. Okay. So if I connect the panel, you can see the value has been like you can see the end number of values. Okay. If I connect the same panel over here, uh you can see no data has been collected because it, it will act for the factor. I'm just giving 90, okay? So you can see the values are multiples of 90. So so that's why I'm using this. You, so now you get so like now you get a clear idea why I'm using this. So I'm just uh, it's like I, I used to get a lot of uh, values in 0 to 360, but I want the factor to be 90. Like uh, I want like 90, 180 something. So I'm just giving the factor as 90. You can see 270, 180, 90, multiple of 90, okay, zero. So that's why I'm just using this. Now I'm just giving this to the degree. So you can see I'm just adding all the things, okay. I'm just proving off. So it looks good, okay. So now I need to rotate in three different axes, okay, to create something interesting. So I'm just copying this. Now I'm just connecting the geometry over here. So this is an X, Y, Z. I'm just giving Y, Z plane. So maybe. So this is, you can see I can select this and this. So which is in different axis. Now I, I'm just creating in different way. Maybe. Mm, in this, I'm just connecting the geometry to here and uh, uh, x z. So I'm just connecting this and here. So the tree has been created because I draw, I think so. I draw a little bit big square for the brick. Okay, so if you want, 
you can add the values so it's up to you guys so i just added some values so So you can see everything has been rotated. So now what we are going to do that the, uh, the drawing is a little bit done. So I'm just giving bake as please because I want it in the group. Now I'm just giving bake as please for the group and the same. I'm just baking all the three rotate uh, uh, the files. So I got it okay. So we got the output from the baking it's like you need to bake uh the rotate uh, like uh, you need to bake only the three rotate commands so you will get this the collage okay the diagram base part so i'm just moving this aside so you can see now i'm just turning this to uh parallel projection set view i'm just turning to anyone that is parallel projection i actually kept in parallel projection but i'm just showing you like you need to change it to parallel projection now uh, i'm just changing it to rendered mode you can see the colors i i used a palette that is color palette to to keep this color like it's just a solid color but from a proper color palette so it looks like each color uh it's like it has a good inter interconnection that's why now uh so you can see the brightness it's because now i'm going to use render option so i'm just uh, so now i'm just turning the sun okay so because this, so i'm just turning off the sun if you turn off the sun you'll get a product like this you need to turn on the sun so and if you want you can adjust the shadow so it will be like manual control is on so if it's not manual control then you can change the direction that is the coordinates it's but if you have the manual controls you can keep this way like i want the shadows to be casted <coughs> i want the shadow to be casted on the surface you can see this part the shadow has been cast on the surface okay so this is fine you can change the direction okay this is fine for me <coughs> so after keeping the shadow i'm i'm just closing this now i'm just using file print just going to file print and now it's a grand of pdf uh, i'm just converting into a pdf 25 not 25 maybe i have a bad habit to save the files and numbers because i'm a lazy fellow so i'm just saving the the file as a rendered view next i mean the day next i'm printing again but before that i'm going to change it to no colors i want a black and white file uh now i'm just going into print now i'm just printing 25 6 so i'm just printing two times so this is done so now i'm going to use photoshop So in this create new a4 next landscape and dropping in so you can see the image now i'm just using i'm just erasing all so it's been done
so which is done so now i'm going to use select uh, color range i'm just selecting the white so i'm just selecting it with uh, i'm just adding a layer match now i'm just deleting it so you can see the black dots now i'm just using ctrl g for two times and merging it now i'm going to change it to inverse so which will give you black lines you can see the black lines for this so now i'm just merging these two i'm just making this a little bit bigger So, so the image has been done, the drawing has been done. Okay, so uh, so I, I uh, so the drawing has been done. So I also use filter uh, night collections to do the overall uh, alteration. So I just uh, merge everything and. Uh, and I just do a overall color correction on. I just go into color effect profile. So this is color effect pro. If you if you want to know how to install this uh, plugin for the Photoshop, just say in the comment section. I will put a. I'll just. Uh, uh, I just put a separate video for this, and I will also teach some tips and tricks in this uh, new collection, which is so cool. So you can change this and you can change the contrast, blah blah blah, stuff like that. So, <laughs> so it's done. So save your comments, save your comments on the comment section, and uh, if you have any other, uh, save your comments on the comment section. And if you have further doubts, please ask in the comment section also. I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Bye bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Mm. Nice. Uh.